Katrina here, welcoming you to Step Into The Valley with the Three Step Realty Group. Now, for this episode, we're gonna do something a little different because I talk about real estate all the time. And as many of you know, I'm really big on personal goals and not only creating, but achieving those personal goals. And we are in February right now, which means we are a month into those New Year's goals that people set, myself included. And I wanted to reach out and talk to you a little bit and see who has fallen off of those goals that they set back on January 1st. Raise your hands. Yeah, me too. Well, don't beat yourself up. You know, I'm, I'm talking to you about this because it's something I personally struggle with. I am someone that tends to naturally set really big goals. I'll give you an example. Last year, I set a pretty big goal for myself of how many people I personally wanted to help with their real estate goals for 2019. And I was able to surpass it, that goal, which was amazing. So what did I do this year? I took that goal and I made it freaking scary. <laughs> I made it really big. But what I didn't take into account is life. And you know, life does happen. And things pop up and occur that make you have to adjust and be flexible, which is, if I'm being honest, not something I am awesome at. It's not something I'm even remotely good at. It's something I'm working on every day to try to be better at. And a lot of people aren't great with that because if I'm talking about myself, which I am, I felt like I'm failing. So I had to reflect on that and go, well, you know, life does happen. And maybe a big goal I set for myself is not realistic with these new life events that have happened. So maybe it's time to bring it down and be flexible and not beat myself up over it because I'm not superwoman. And I'm okay with not being superwoman. I'm just human and living life and trying to help as many people and with not just real estate needs, but as many people as possible in any way that I can. So to reflect, it's important to be flexible and it's okay to readjust your goal because I can tell you, I'm not losing the weight I wanted to lose yet either. Yet is the key word right there. So when I say be flexible, be flexible, adjust. And who says it better than Dr. Seuss? And again, if you know me, you know that I absolutely love Dr. Seuss. So I wanna share with you a quick Seussism before we end today. All right, let's see where it's at. It is be flexible. The bus stop was there and that part was just fine, but tacked on a stick was a very small sign saying notice to passengers using our line. We're sorry to say our bus driver, Butch Myers, ran over four nails and punctured all tires. So until further notice, the 442 cannot possibly take you to Sola Salu. But I wish you a most pleasant journey by feet, signed, Bus Line President Horse P. Sweet. So if you're at a moment, you find that you can't run, it's okay to walk. And in the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel because every Friday we're gonna put out a new video fresh for you. We'll see you then.